Hey guys, I just wanted to do a real quick video. Uh, if anybody else out there is having trouble with their AC blower motor uh, not working, um, just want to let you know what I found. Um, I picked the car up from the shop, getting a fuel pump put in. Normally try to do everything myself, but I uh, had them do the fuel pump, and when I brought it in, the AC worked. Picked it up, the AC blower did not work at all. So, uh, had it diagnosed, they said the blower motor was bad. They wanted $1,300 to do the blower motor. Found the blower motor. Um, you can get it from pelicanparts.com. And uh, um, I actually uh, ordered the blower motor from carparts.com. Got it for $79. Um, and it didn't work. I thought the blower motor they sent me was bad. They sent me a second one and started doing some more research because I tested the motor by running the battery or running some wires straight from the battery to the motor. It worked fine. Uh, it had voltage to the motor, but it still wouldn't kick on. Couldn't figure out what it was. Did some more research and found out that it is actually this thing right here. This is the problem. When you replace the blower motor, you have to replace this thing. And that is uh, called a blower motor regulator. And there is the part number. Blower motor regulator. And you can get that from Pelican Parts for 50 bucks. Um, I would strongly suggest getting everything from them because they had a Porsche tech that talked to me. He did a great job of telling me what it was. He said when you replace the blower motor, the uh, regulator goes out. Sometimes they call it a resistor, but the regulator goes out also. So he said you need to replace both of them. They sent me the part, got it within like a day, and uh, popped it in, turned it on. Everything's working good. So hopefully that helps you guys. As far as getting into the dash, um, I'm not making a video on how to do that really. Basically, you uh, you have to pop the uh, the uh, glove box out. There's a couple clips that hold it in. There's about six screws that go up under there that hold it in. You have to take a little side panel off here, right next to your uh, AC vent. And then you have to take this, this whole panel off of here. You also have to take the, um, the airbag off the bottom and that is a female um, you need a female uh, Torx for that so hopefully that helps you guys and uh, keeps you from having to do as much digging as I did and if I uh, run across anything else I can help you with hopefully we'll be able to uh, save you guys some time